the buoy down at uh, Cape Lewin uh, is showing a, a building swell. Uh, it's it shows open ocean swells, but like let's face it, Margaret River, uh, as opposed to say the east coast where we've got a say a hundred kilometre uh, continental shelf, the, the the continental shelf here goes for about 20 metres. It's open ocean, so what we see in Cape Lewin off that buoy is what's coming, and they're calling 20 foot. Looking forward to seeing how the day continues. Callum versus Morgan Siblick. Interesting matchup just getting underway, Kaipo. He's here, right? You have Callum Robson, who's looking really good this year. He's almost the Morgan Siblick of 2022. We have Morgs. This is a must win heat for Morgan. So true, Kaipo. And now back to live. So he had a 4 5 on that first wave. And now live action for Callum Robson. Driving hard off the bottom, doing a great job to identify a wave that'll give him multiple sections to hit. It was a bit scrappy in the previous seat to find some scoring potential for Jackson Baker. And already starting this heat with a lot of confidence. Gosh, he sure is, Joe, and uh, what a rookie season he is having. He is reveling in the power. He's done so well in these first five events, and now he's just taken it to Margaret River. It's a lot harder than it looks out there. So far, the red singlet, the highest seated surfers, the experience has prevailed. And here we see the surfer in red. He's a rookie. He's worked himself into the big seatings. And look at that snap under the lip. Pow guy gouge. And Callum is, he just loves the big stuff. Enjoying a bit of power here at main break, but picked his turns well. 4.5. Second wave, a 7.0. Yeah, it's at that first, he got that first maneuver in, finished it clean. He, he got three great maneuvers with that first one, set it up for a seven point roll. Look at Callum Robson, he's up and riding again. Just a commanding lead, Joe. Gets a nice little car, we'll see if he can better his score line right now. He's on a roll. He certainly is. He's got a little bit of a pace on this inside corner, not moving too quickly through the wall until now. And then he'll just slip off. Looks like his situation could remain the same but Kaipo talking about Sunset Beach the challenges on that venue on the North Shore they already competed there at stop number two what's happening out there now and Kaipo that that wind in this this morning has had that side offshore effect to it how's that on the takeoff oh you can see what a struggle it is we got Morgan surfing right now he got into this one nice top turn for Siblick little speed bump off the bottom recovers well with another beautiful car big climb decision Siblick Hangs on. A fantastic start for last year's number five in the world. Patience paying off for Siblick. He'll be out of the combination now. This was at the takeoff. Yeah, it's a, it's a great looking wave here. It carves down the face, comes around this section, nearly loses it. Another beautiful snap there, and then he finishes. This was a difficult one, too, because he didn't really have time to set it up, Joe. And then that speed bump after the first turn so well to keep his line because his turn to follow was brilliant. And then the finish almost looked impossible. Climbing a section like that at main break, Bugs? Well, we've seen this morning even John John Florence and Clohe set that last turn up. And this is a beautiful first section, though. Clean as a whistle. Well overhead, double overhead. Carves this and just carves it down the face. Beautifully executed. And this connection here, look, he nearly loses it there on a bump. Comes around this section, snaps here, and he knows that he's going to come around and transition straight onto his inside rail, up the face, rises over the lip line, and now he's got to handle this section here. You've got that converging white water from behind. And uh, he was kind of just got in front of the, the full convergence. It's amazing how you got that uniformity of the three six eights and then the two eights. It's it's a very unique spread. Dropping the high and the low. And we'll have more waves on the way. Siblick just needs a 4.3 for the lead. Nice arc to start for Morgs. Surfer from Merriweather wraps it, disappears in that foam. I call it meter ten, but it's meter ten and a. Uh, yeah, I glued on uh, half a pound. I think it's like 240 grams or something <laughs> on my board. I wanted a half pound on there because uh, my board was just working way too good when the waves were small, and it's a 6'4", so I wanted it to hold. 
Yeah, there's lots of there's lots of play out there. These tiny adjustments uh, make all the difference. They're subtle, but they're meaningful. Here comes Callum Robson. Stretched out bottom turn. Taking the high road. That open face kind of split up there. Now it's about half the size. And he'll time the finish. Extended float and try to run away. That one will keep him honest and take him down. And that finishing move, his scores are going to remain the same. Siblick with priority with 13 minutes to go. Looked great at the start, Bucks. Yeah, it did. He, he kind of didn't get that big outside move. It went a little bit fat, but then he brings it round. He tries to set up this inside nicely. There's a nice sort of snap halfway up the face. He knew, knew he needed a big finish. And he drove down that face to try to get in front of it. Uh, you know, back in the day at Big Margaret's, obviously Big Margaret's back in the day was more of a left. And, and we, we, you know, we used to come here before leg rope, so the right was really hairy with no leg error. <laughs> As we see the drawn-out top turn from Callum Robson looking a better, a 4.5. End section, he'll hit it high off the top, and he ensures the completion there. Two turns for Callum. And here's Morgan now. This is, it. this is it for Morgan Siblick, I feel. He's got to do it now. Siblick draws a big first turn. A lot of energy off that rail in the second effort. Two sections colliding will eliminate the finishing move. And that is a tough thing to see after you've belted two big hooks on your way to ride out. There was almost nowhere to go, Bucks. No, there was absolutely nowhere to go. He was caught. It was a deer in the headlights on that one. And... Uh, he got mowed down. Wow, that last wave had not been able to surf out of that, getting mowed down by those converging monstrous white waters. Those surging boils just uh, has taken Morgan Sibley perhaps out of this tournament. This will be a tough blow for Morgan Sibley. As obviously his surfing was there, a 7-2, the best wave of the heat just coming down to not riding out of his last move. Morgan Siblick has not made the cut. Callum Robson, number six in the world, moves on to the round of 16 here at the Margaret River Pro.